Media, dear guests, welcome to the press conference on the occasion of the visit by the Secretary General of NATO at Bardo Prikranju. So now first give the floor to the Prime Minister of the Republic of Slovenia, Mr. Marian Šarec. Dear representatives of the media, I would like to inform you that we have just concluded talks with the NATO Secretary General, Mr. Jens Stoltenberg. Talks were conducted in a very constructive atmosphere, and we have both expressed the awareness that Slovenia has been a member of NATO for almost 15 years. And 15 years ago, maybe some have uh, forgotten, but 15 years ago, the then government, led by the deceased Dr. Donoshek, had made a significant effort that Slovenia became a member of NATO. And I am reminding you of this because today, sometimes um, in the public, we have the impression that this organization is not needed and like we can regret our membership of NATO, but this is not the case because uh, prior to the visit, uh, there were talks about burden sharing and solidarity, and all this uh, primarily refers to the percentage of uh, GDP earmarked for this organization. I have to stress or illustrate by way of comparison that even when we sit down in our car, we don't use the um, seat belt because of the police fine, but for our security, for ourselves, I and mean, it is the same with NATO, uh, we shouldn't um, have illusions that it, we have lived for a long time in peace and that today there is no uh, direct threat of a military attack like we used to see in the past. We are still vulnerable. We are vulnerable if we do not um, deliver on our commitments given to this uh, alliance for the first time 15 years ago when we became members and also recently in 2014 we have made a commitment and these commitments are not something superfluous. If you are a member of a club you need to deliver on your commitments and I have explained to the NATO Secretary General our way forward towards the amount expected of us, expected of us to be earmarked for this organization. We had a very honest discussion. We have both noted our views of this, and we have agreed that if you are a member of a club, this implies that you cannot only enjoy the benefits of this membership, but in addition to the rights, you also have to fulfill your duties. And of course, Slovenia is very active with respect to missions, and we continue to uh, maintain this uh, policy also in the future. We are also well informed of the situation in the Balkans. We also discussed this. So I believe that the Slovenian government will, in cooperation with NATO, also in the future, deliver on its commitments and that we would be able to refer to our relation, cooperation and not coercion and always 
will be aware of the fact that um, security is not to be taken for granted and that security will be present here in Slovenia if we make an effort for it. Security situation can very quickly change and this is something that we must take into consideration as well. We should never be too sure that nothing can happen and that we are some sort of an island in the middle of Europe. This would be briefly about the talks that we have held and maybe we can provide you with an answer later on to your question. Thank you very much, the Prime Minister. And now I give the floor to the NATO Secretary General. Prime Minister, first of all, thank you for your uh, warm welcome for hosting me and my delegation here. And uh, uh, also, congratulations uh, on your appointment as uh, Prime Minister of Slovenia. I very much look forward to working uh, with you, but also with uh, your uh, foreign minister and your, uh, your defense minister, two uh, politicians I know very well from their previous uh, positions. So I really appreciate to be here and to uh, meet with all of you and to discuss the challenges we face as uh, an alliance. Uh, but I also appreciate to come to Ljubljana because uh, as a child, uh, I lived in Yugoslavia uh, in the 60s, and, uh, uh, and we came back many times in the 1970s. And I remember very well that uh, we often went to Ljubljana. Uh, I, I uh, already then uh, loved the city, uh, mostly because my father always gave me sladoled uh, in uh, Ljubljana. So that was, uh, uh, what should I say, the first time I started to like this uh, city. Uh, this time I. Uh, didn't get sladoled, but I, get, uh, I got uh, a very good uh, lunch, so thank you also for the lunch. Uh, we are uh, grateful for uh, Slovenia's uh, contributions uh, to our shared security, to the NATO alliance. You um, contribute um, forces uh, to our uh, presence, our uh, uh, mission in Afghanistan, helping to fight terrorism and make sure that uh, Afghanistan doesn't become a safe haven for international terrorists once again. Uh, you uh, are present, you contribute, uh, contribute uh, uh, forces to our uh, mission in Kosovo, uh, which is key to make sure that uh, uh, we keep a safe and secure environment uh, in Kosovo. And we just saw the quality of your special operation forces with the display uh, they had outside this building when we arrived the high quality of uh, your forces and especially your special operation uh, forces. I'm also glad that you have um, contributed uh, and been part of the enhanced for presence uh, of NATO troops uh, in, uh, um, in, the, in the Baltics uh, with your presence in Latvia. And I also welcome you to the big NATO exercise in Norway later on in October, Trident Juncture. Uh, in Norway, uh, which will be uh, the biggest NATO exercise in many, many years, showing that NATO is adapting, showing that NATO is responding to a more demanding and uh, difficult uh, security uh, environment. Uh, then um, uh, we had a very good uh, discussion during lunch, and, uh, and we addressed how NATO is adapting uh, to uh, uh, a new and uh, more challenging uh, security environment. Um, and how we are both uh, strengthening our collective defense uh, at home in Europe, but at the same time projecting stability beyond our borders uh, through our missions and operations um, in the fight against terrorism, but also to help partners in Europe uh, like uh, Ukraine, like uh, Georgia, and other partners um, in uh, Europe, which are important for us because when our neighbors are more stable, we are more uh, uh, secure. Um, we also mentioned the importance of uh, NATO-EU cooperation. We welcome the strengthened cooperation between NATO and the European Union. And I uh, also welcome EU efforts on defense, uh, as long as they are uh, complementing uh, and strengthening the European pillar within NATO, and not duplicating or competing uh, with uh, NATO. Um, uh, so done in the right way, I really believe that uh, stronger EU efforts uh, on defense can improve burden sharing within the alliance. 
and uh, therefore I welcome also the close cooperation between uh, our two organizations. But of course, burden sharing is about capabilities, it's about contributions, it's about NATO-EU cooperation, but it's also about spending and investing in defense. And uh, uh, NATO allies reduced defense spending after the end of the Cold War when tensions went down. I was then politician in Norway and I was also responsible for reducing defense spending in Norway. But when we are reducing defense spending, when tensions are going down, we have to be uh, able to increase defense spending when tensions are going up as they are now. Therefore, I welcome that you so clearly have stated that uh, you will increase uh, the defense investments of uh, Slovenia. Um, uh, Slovenia is currently uh, spending uh, just about 1% of GDP uh, on defense, uh, so I encourage you to uh, do more uh, to increase. And as you said, this is in our security interest. Uh, it's, uh, it's something we need to make sure that we are uh, safe. And, uh, and, um, and therefore, I expect all allies, also including uh, uh, Slovenia, to make good on the promise we made together back in 2014 to stop the cuts uh, and start to increase defense uh, spending. Uh, I look very much forward to uh, working with you and uh, to address many different challenges, including how NATO can help to address the uh, challenges we see uh, in the southeast of U Europe, uh, uh, working with our members there. Uh, we have a new member, Montenegro. Uh, uh, we have welcomed uh, uh, the former Yugoslav Republic of um, Macedonia as our uh, 30th member, uh, if they uh, can implement the name agreement with uh, Greece. Uh, and we also work with partners like, for instance, Serbia, uh, to make sure that uh, uh, NATO continu continues to contribute to, uh, 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 to stability in uh, this part of uh, Europe. So once again, thank you so much for receiving me.